Hi guys, it's Dr. Lion Simit here. In this tutorial, I'm going to I'm going over how to make the tooth comment representation and vice versa. I'll also show you how to find the tooth comment representation of a decimal, or in other words, how to find the negative decimal number. You can use the navigator in the description so you can navigate your way throughout the video in case you knew something. We're going to first talk about the basics. So let's say you have a starting value of 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Was, there's 7 zeros in 1. In 1, 1. So what you do first is reverse the bits. Which all the zeros turn to 1 and all the 1's turn to 0. Then you add 1 to the value from 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 here. Or you can just add zero 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 one. And that's in other words. You don't have to put the zeros but you can if you can if if you want to. Then this is your tooth comment representation. Okay, so anytime you reverse the bits, you're you're always going to add one to the reverse bits. If you get one plus one, it equals zero, which you carry one until you get one plus zero, in which one plus zero equals one. So one 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 is the result of this example. So it is zero 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 ones negative form, in this case negative one, is this result right here. So negative integers use the two's complement uh, representation. So let's try another example. Let's say you have this. You have zero 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 one zero one zero zero. So you do the same thing, you reverse the bits. And you add one. So like this, one plus one is zero. So you carry the one till you get one plus zero. So all this is actually zero, so you could add the zeros, but you don't really have to. So one plus, plus one is still, it's still like, you still carry the one, till you get one plus zero, so now it's one. Then you just, you just move the rest of them down. Okay, so what we're gonna do, so we're going to now find out the two's common representation of a decimal number. So there's actually two ways to do this, in which we're going to talk, which you could, the first method is to add the zeros, then you add one to the end. You may get questions on the, on tests that, that may ask, what is the two's common representation of negative 54 or something like that. So you're basically supposed to find the negative decimal number in order to answer those questions. So here's an example. So what you do here is that you're going to add all the zeros. If you want, you could do, you could put the table uh, to help you out. Sorry, you can't really see the numbers that well. You could put 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. So we add 64. Then this is 8, 4, then that's it. Then at the end you add 1. And then you put a negative sign in front of it. Then that's your... That's how you find the negative decimal number. 
So, what about we try another method? In which you're converting negative binary numbers to a positive binary number. So, this is also, this can also be known as how to, if two is common, vice versa, or going backwards. So, that's how you, that's how you convert uh, this backwards. But it's also the, to know how to get the negative uh, decimal number. So this will be the second method as well. So we're going to use the same example. Then we, then we subtract by 1 since that was the last thing we did. Which we added 1 so you subtract it. So 1 minus 1 is 0, the rest you just move down. Because 1 minus 0 is 0. Or 0 minus 0 is 0. Then you reverse the bits, then that's your that's how you do it backwards. So if you're trying to go backwards, this is your answer. But finding out the negative decimal number. Then you would have to add all, all, all of these. They got all the ones this time. So we have 64, 8, and 4. Oh, it's the same thing, actually. Oh, I forgot one. I forgot one. So this will basically be your 77, but a, ne a negative 77. You can put the negative sign if you want to, but we're looking at a positive this time. So, you could put that if you want to. Like, if you want to stick with this up, up here, then that will be negative 77. In this case, this is positive, but I think you... But okay. So, what about we try another example? Like, what if you didn't have like 1 minus 1 or 1 minus 0 you get it backwards 0 minus 1 so show that right now see something like this you just um, you borrow a 1 from here this turns to 0 so I know it says 10 minus 1 but it's actually 1 0 minus 1 which 1, 0 is 2 in binary. So it would be 2 minus 1, which is 1. Then the rest you move down. Then you flip, then you flip the, 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 flip the, all 1 to 0 and 0 to 1. Okay, then we add all the ones. So we got 64, 8, 4, and 2. And this is, ne this is negative 78. Uh, so yeah, this is negative 78. Well, that's all for this tutorial, so I hope you guys enjoyed enjoy this tutorial, and may God bless you all.